Hi there, and in this video, we are going to be creating a super simple 3D game inside of Godot using the mobile version of it. It is going to be quite simple just for you to start understanding how to create 3D games inside of Godot Mobile. So first of all, let's start creating here a brand new 3D scene. And I can rename this node. Basically, if I firstly left click it to select it, and then if I press again, I can rename it. I will call mine a uh, main and I will go to scene, save scene to save it right away. Then every single 3D game, I'm going to be adding over here a camera, okay? Because every single 3D game actually needs a camera 3D. So let's add it over there. And when I enable here the preview, this basically will allow me to see what the camera is currently seeing. Okay, I just see the that. So I want to be adding some coins that the user is going to be able to collect by clicking on them. So I will disable the preview, select the main node and add over here an area 3D. This is the node that will actually allow us to detect when we have clicked it. So let's select it and press create. I will once again rename it. Now inside of this coin, make sure that you have selected it. I will add a mesh okay this one mesh instance 3d because the mesh will actually allow me to provide some kind of shape as you can see i have a lot so as i want to emulate as as if this was uh some kind of coin i will just use a sphere okay and also i will select the coin node once again and i want to have a collision shape okay this is the actual hitbox of the object and now here on shape i will add once again a sphere shape and now I think that the, yes, the collider is okay. Um, so with this, we have the coin uh, set up. And if we go to the camera once again, we can enable preview. And as you can see, we don't see anything. But if we take the coin, scroll down over here and go to transform. If in the Z position, we change it to something like five, for example, or actually I think it should be minus five over there we can see it okay so we'll actually put it in something like minus 2.5 okay and i think that with that it is going to be more than enough uh so we'll disable the preview and i will play the game i will just select this one as my current scene because i just have one scene and the main scene is the one that is going to be played as soon as the game starts but as you can see we have this thing and why is this happening because we don't have a, any kind of environment uh, here, as you can see, we do have a, a default environment that Godot creates for us, but in our hierarchy, we don't have that. And the camera, by default, previews, uh, previews it with the default environment that we have. Because basically, if we click, for example, here, okay, this is how we are actually seeing everything. Because we have no lights and we have no environment. But if we click on these three dots over here, we can modify the sky color, the ground color and more stuff, but we can directly add the sun to the scene and add the environment. This will add a world environment a world environment node and the directional light that is basically the sun. Um, so now when we play again, we're going to be having the exact same preview that we have in our actual scene. Okay, so everything is working fine. But now I actually want to collect these coins. But before that, our coins not, don't really look as such because they are white and coins tend to be, for example, um, yellow so what we can do is to press inside of this mesh scroll down a little bit and well here we're going to be finding some options but we can't find the actual color over here so let's go to surface material override and here in empty basically press new standard material okay let's open it up and here we have the albedo property that is the one that will actually allow us to modify the color. So I will press here on this left arrow here on my keyboard to close it and I will just make it yellow. So there we have our coin actually being yellow. Then in order to detect when this coin is being pressed, I will firstly select the coin node, attach a script to it and press create. Make sure that your script is actually attached to the coin and not to the mesh instant, collision shape or any other node. Then go to the node window and over here on collision object 3d select input event press connect and press connect once again so this will give us here this uh code 
if you have more code okay such as a ready function process delta function or any more code you can either leave it there or delete it it is going to be the exact same thing so this will actually give give us here some information okay but i will just go ahead and type the information that we need in order to check if we have actually clicked on this coin so first of all we want to detect if the actual event that has just happened is an event that is related to mouse input but first of all as you can see when i want to code like i can't see very clearly so a pretty uh, useful option to go to editor editor settings and over here you can scroll down a little bit until you find text editor okay and here in behavior you can enable scroll past end of file so now you will be able to scroll down a little bit maybe to something like that and now i am able to write a little bit easier so i will delete all that and i will check if the current event okay if event event is basically an argument that uh, is passed through automatically okay it's basically that when this signal is called so if event is and how do we detect if this is an input event mouse button well if event dot is uh, sorry if event is input event mouse button and I, and I do find it this option over here so i can quickly double click it and there i'm going to have it uh, completed now not only this but also we have to detect um, if we are pressing the the left or right click in this case i know that we are on mobile but we are going to enable a function that will allow us to emulate the click from the mouse uh, from the touch sorry so we are just going to be detecting this as if this was a button left click in our pc so to do that we add the and to add more conditions and we also want to check here if event dot button index is equal and to check if it is equal we use the double symbol okay to uh, mouse in capital letters mouse uh, underscore left sorry button left actually so now here this event has to do with the left mouse button but for example it could be that the mouse is just hovering our object and we have not actually clicked the object so to make sure that this is actually the click event we also have to add and event dot pressed now let's add over here a colon enter and there we have it okay and if all this has happened we just want to delete the coin and to do that we call the q free method so we'll double click it and there we have it and actually here i'm receiving an error because button left doesn't exist it is actually mouse button left so let me correct that so now as you can see that error has disappeared so i can play the game once again and i can click wherever i want but when i press inside of the coin it is deleted now the problem is that we only have like one coin and we may want to have multiple coins so we can hold down inside of the icon of the coin so right over here and as soon as that new menu pops up uh, stop pressing down so that you can actually choose what option you want to press and then press here duplicate okay so now we have a copy of this and i will just move it a little bit to the right maybe something like this i will create a third coin okay and i will move it i don't know i up a little bit and to the left a little bit so there i have three coins you can create as many as you want but well the basis of the code is already set so that's what we actually need so now i can click i know over here and nothing happens but when i press in this coin it is deleted in this one it is deleted and the same thing happens over here if you are serious about leveling up your goaded skills check out my course in less than six hours you'll master goaded fundamentals while building this amazing project links in the description see you there